I can't get off any earlier. You, but you see, Christmas Eve is just like any other day when you're doing a new show. Well, uh, let's see, it's a four-hour drive. Uh, if I leave here at 7, I should be there by 8 o'clock. <laughs> well, I'm going to drive fast because I can't wait to see you. <laughs> all right, all right, I won't drive fast. I won't, I promise. Mom, don't worry. I won't be there until 1 in the morning, okay? <laughs> okay, bye, Mom. And love to all. I'll see you next week. Merry Christmas to you, too. Bye-bye. Morning, Mr. Grant. Mm. The only thing missing is an electric train. <laughs> you got the nativity scene in your drawer? <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> I hadn't had time to set it up, but I thought it would go very nicely on the filing cabinet. I was kidding. Mr. Grant, uh, I don't suppose there's any chance that I could get off early Christmas Eve, is there? See, I'm going to drive up and spend Christmas Day with my family. Mary, uh, come into my office. <clears throat> Mary, the thing I wanted to talk to you... <laughs> well, it's Christmas. You had to have something in here. It's not gonna drop needles all over my desk, is it? <laughs> Sit down. You know, Mary, I haven't had Christmas off in seven years. Oh, that's terrible. Well, it's not too bad. You get used to it. Christmas is just like any other day when you're working on newsroom. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, no. Oh. You gotta work on Christmas. I've gotta work on Christmas? Well, that's another way of putting it. <laughs> I, I just, I never thought that I'd, I would be working on Christmas. I better uh, go call my mom. <laughs> She's sentimental about Christmas. I have a feeling that when I go to sleep tonight, three ghosts are going to visit me. <laughs> decorate at all? Uh-uh. I just decorated an entire department store. Hey, Mary, why don't you hang our pantyhose? They hold more. <laughs> I never thought of that. Mary, hurry up! Hi! Oh, oh, what? Ooh, oh. You know the wonderful thing about living in Minnesota? We always have a white Christmas. The thing that gets me is the white Easter's. <laughs> I never saw so much stuff. I can't help myself. I'm just a Christmas nut. Not just Christmas. <laughs> I'm sure you feel the same way about Hanukkah, Rhoda. <laughs> oh, sure, sure. Hanukkah, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind if I leave Bess's gifts here? I don't want her to find them. She's been hunting around the apartment since Halloween. Oh, sure. Well, you see, this stuff is fantastic. Did you get anything for me? Not exactly what I wanted. <laughs> it's a one-quarter scale transparent figure with all the intestines. It's very educational also. Hey, Mary, don't you wish they had this kind of stuff when we were kids? Mm. Oh, Rhoda! Oh, now she is adorable. Oh, this doll is some dresser. <laughs> I've been looking for a pair of shoes like this all winter. Let <laughs> see, darling. Is she a talking doll? No. Ah, uh, too bad. I was hoping she could tell me where she got those shoes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you getting for Lars? Hey, he's a doctor. Why don't you give him this thing with the intestines? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is for him. <laughs> Do you uh, have any idea what he's giving you? He told me I could pick my own gift this year. Yeah. I picked cash. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back up tomorrow to wrap these. Merry Christmas! Yeah, Bye. you too. Oh, wow, this is going to be some weird Christmas. What do you mean, man? Well, my apartment's all decorated. I got presents under the tree. I'm not going to be here to enjoy it. I'll be working. That's it. Cheer yourself up. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. When I was a little girl, we used to drive up to my grandparents every Christmas, and yeah. on the way, we'd pass this diner, and there'd be these 
these little old men having their Christmas dinner all alone, and it's just that this year I'm going to be one of those little old men. <laughs> you know, I uh, came down here because I was a little depressed, but said to myself, Mary will cheer me up. <laughs> yeah, I got an idea. I didn't have to work Christmas Eve. Why don't you and I celebrate it together? I don't know, Mayor. I get the feeling that Christmas Eve with you could be pretty grim. Nah, come on, be, I'll be good, I promise. We'll light the tree and, and build a fire and we'll have some eggnog and open our presents. Come on, what do you say? Okay, you're on. Good. Hey, listen, does this mean we're gonna exchange gifts? That well, wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, did you get mine yet? Yeah. What is it? Rhoda, you're not supposed to ask that. Well, how about a hint? Mary, I'm very competitive. I want to get you something better. <laughs> That's not exactly the Christmas spirit, fella. That's not what I'd call the Christmas spirit. No, sir, that is not the Christmas spirit. Well, what's wrong, Ted? Oh, they're just rubbing it in down the hall because they're having a Christmas party and we're not. Who's having the party? Everybody except us. And in particular, that darn chuckle's a clown. Hey, clown, you're not funny. <laughs> I don't know why we can't have a Christmas party. Oh, yes, you do. Because of what you did last year. What'd you do, Ted? I don't remember. I go to a lot of parties. I don't know everything. <laughs> what did he do? No, oh, well, you know how it is. You get a few drinks in you and you feel like telling off the boss. Except he did it on the air. You're kidding. You mean he actually told you off on the air? No, he didn't tell me off. Well, who then? The president. Of the United States? Of America. Uh, why? Well, he sent the president a Christmas card and got mad because he didn't get one back. <laughs> Hi, Fred. Hiya, Fred. How you doing? Why don't you ask me New Year's Eve? I have to work then, too. Oh, I know, but, well, I felt so bad about you not being able to get home and all. I hope you like it. Oh, but, Murray, the point is we did discuss it and we decided no presents. Oh, well, I just, I don't know what to say. Except, here's yours. Oh, gee, man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Listen, Murray, don't feel badly about me. Rhoda and I are going to have dinner together tonight. Open some presents. Ho, ho, ho! The Silver Santa's here. <laughs> right now, I have personalized gifties for each one of my little elves. <laughs> Lou? Gee, I wonder what it is. It's either a record album or a very stiff handkerchief. <laughs> Where? Mary. Thanks for the time, Mayor. Oh, you're welcome, Ted. I hope it fits. <laughs> Harlan. Ted, why don't we just file by and help ourselves? There's a way of doing these things, Murr. Avery? He's the only man I know that can make Christmas seem like mail for him. Murray? Yo! Thank you, Ted. Oh, this is terrific, I'm Ted. glad you like it, Lou. Yes, the year in review is told by Ted Baxter. <laughs> I had the engineers make it up. It's a... Compilation of my best stuff. I'm surprised you needed an LP. <laughs> <laughs> Mary? Oh, thank you. I heard about you not being able to go home for Christmas after planning to and all. Yeah, it was a little disappointing, but everybody here has the same problem, you know, or one like it. Look at you, it's Christmas Eve and you have to work tonight. Mm. Well, I just want you to know that tomorrow when you're working and I'm at home, I'll be thinking about you. Oh, thank you, Fred. That's very nice. And I guess tonight when I'm working and you're at home, you'll be thinking about me. Well, I, I will now. <laughs> you know, I just thought of something. When somebody's got a big family like I have, it seems a shame not to share it. So I was wondering... Yes? Would you work for me tonight? Uh, would, I, would I? Look, Mary, I wouldn't ask you if you were going home to your family, but uh, what's Christmas Eve to you? You're going to be all alone. I'll trade you. I'll work New Year's Day for you. That way you'll be able to watch all the football games. Fred, I never... I, I... Look, Mary, please. 
I've never spent Christmas Eve with my kids. Oh, Fred, that last part wasn't fair. <laughs> I know, but I'm desperate. Oh. Mary, will you work for me tonight? All right. Oh, right, yes. thanks. Will you at least cover for me while I go home and have some dinner? Oh, sure, sure. And, uh, Mary, I just want you to know I feel terrible about this. Good. <laughs> I'm not coming in yet because I had this big package out here. So big that I had to open the door first. Now I am bringing this big package into your apartment. And I am placing it under your tree. No, I'm not. I can't stand it. You gotta open it now, Mary. Rhoda! <laughs> it's for me? Yeah, for you. Merry Christmas. Big. Uh, should yeah. I open it now? Yeah, go on. It looks like somebody already opened it. I did. I opened it a few times to take a look at this fantastic gift. <laughs> oh, Rhoda! Oh, it's just... <laughs> Is it a great... Huh? It's... Oh, wow! Well. Hey, listen, let me break you in on it. You'll be able to get your license and then solo in no time. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Richards. This is your griddle area. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you wish to fry an egg. Yes. Then, of course, here is your rotisserie. If you wish to barbecue an egg. Uh-huh. <laughs> then we have the oven for your basic baked egg. Yes. <laughs> uh, what's this? That's your egg. I knew it. <laughs> well, Mary, what do you oh, think? Rhoda, I think it is just wonderful, and I think you spent too much money. Don't worry. I got an employee's discount down at the store. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. Well, I have yours, and oh. it's not half as nice. Forty percent is nice. Well, it's not too big, is it? <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> oh, it's fun. <gasps> oh, Mary, it's gorgeous. And you paid full price, right? I did. <laughs> oh. Hey, you know what this will go great with? My new suit. Well, you think this is an accident? Why do you think I picked it out? Oh, kid, thanks. <laughs> I, I love it. I hey, do. me too. Thanks. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> hey, you know what else my uh, new blouse will go great with? What? Your rotisserie. Huh? I can wear it while you cook a turkey in there. I bought one for us for tonight. I'll go get it. Well, uh, Rhoda, wait. Uh, listen, how fast do you think that thing can cook a turkey? Why? Because I have to leave for the office in ten minutes. For what? To work. What? <laughs> I traded with a man so that he could be with his... I don't even want to go into it. <laughs> Terrific. Wonderful. You get me all hyped up for Christmas Eve, and then you run out like this. What am I supposed to do, stand out in the snow and light matches? <laughs> Rhoda, will you please? You know, this has been a rough week, and the worst part is just about to begin. OK, kid, listen. I'll see you later tonight, huh? No, I have to work till midnight. Oh, well, then I'll see you tomorrow. I can't. I'm working tomorrow. It's Christmas. Well, uh... Have a Merry Christmas. You too. And now this final Yuletide item. We have just received word from a U.S. radar base in northernmost Alaska that an unusual flying object's been sighted. A sleigh with eight tiny reindeer. <laughs> Piloting the vehicle, a man who was overheard to say, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Anyone knowing the identity of this man, please contact the nearest child. This is Ted Baxter saying, Merry Christmas to you and yours, from me and mine. Murray, did you write that last part? No. As a matter of fact, that's the only news story Ted ever wrote in his life. He does it every year. He even had thousands of copies printed up for people who write in requesting it. He still has thousands of copies. <laughs> well, I better get going. Merry Christmas. You too. Oh, Mary! 
How could you let Fred talk you into working Christmas Eve? I mean, it's bad enough you can't go home, but working tonight. Well, it's all right. Look, Fred has a family to spend the evening with. Oh, his family isn't so great. They bought an aluminum tree this year. <laughs> well, Mary, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Mary! Not much for you to check tonight. Everything's pretty quiet. Yeah, I know. Typical Christmas Eve. Uh, there's an envelope for you on the desk there. Who's it from? Me. <laughs> the crystal bells of Christmas bring love and cheer tonight to wish for you... Uh, the no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mr. Grant, I really... Uh, I don't know what to buy a girl. You get yourself something. Mr. Grant, I can't accept this. Sure you can. But a blank check. What? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's a mistake. <laughs> Just wait outside while you... No, go. no. All I have to do is fill in an amount here. <laughs> Can I have the card back, please? <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, da, da. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thank you, Mr. Grant. Uh, Mary, it's none of my business why you're working for Fred on Christmas Eve. Yes, but... it is, Mr. Grant. You're head of the newsroom. No, I don't want it to be my business. Because if it is, then I have to feel responsible for you being here all along. Oh, Mr. Grant, thank you. But I'm not going to be alone. I'm the cleaning crew will be coming around. No, they won't. They don't work on Christmas Eve. Well, the, uh, then there's the night watchman. Uh-uh, there's only one man on duty tonight, and he has to stay downstairs in the lobby. Well, it's uh, comforting, then, to know that there'll be somebody only 12 floors away. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I got some paperwork I can do. I'll stay. You go on. No, home. no, Mr. Grant. You know, it would make it a lot easier on me if everyone would just stop feeling sorry for me and go home and have a Merry Christmas. Okay, okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Take care of yourself. Well, you too. Good night. Good night. So. Tonight. 
Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm I'm all alone here too. Well, so long. Well, wait, uh, Charlie. Uh, can't we talk or something? What about? Well, you uh, you said you had a good joke. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There were these two guys, and they're walking down this big alley. What's your name again? Uh, Mary. I can't tell it to you. <laughs> well, then, uh, can't we talk about uh, something else? I don't know what to say to you. I've never spoken to you before. Uh, Charlie, do you have uh, any, any family? Nothing but four kids, nine grandkids. Gee, I bet you wish you could be with them tonight, huh? I will be in about 15 minutes. The whole family's meeting over my son Paul's place. Every year we have a real old-fashioned Christmas. You'll get the kids up and they'll open up some of their presents. Do you have any family? Well, uh, not tonight, I don't know. It was really nice talking to you, Charlie. Same here and Merry Christmas. You too. Over and out. <laughs> Newsroom. Hello. He hello. Rhoda, listen, uh, there's, there's not supposed to be anyone in the building, and I just heard the elevator. Rhoda, I can't call the police. What am I going to tell them, that I heard an elevator? <laughs> I can't call the police until the murderer gets off the elevator. <laughs> there he is. He's off the elevator. He's brought his gang. Rhoda, listen, you were my best friend, and I really liked your Christmas present. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but Ted wanted it to be a surprise. Oh. Were you surprised? We're going to... <laughs> oh. Hello, Newsroom Seasons. Greetings. Uh, Mr. Green. What do you mean, is this the murderer? <laughs> Ted, that's for me. You're the murderer? Oh, Rhoda, yes, everything's fine. Yes, of course, I'm sure. No, nobody's forcing me to say that. <laughs> no, it, it's just Mr. Grant and, and Ted and Murray. I, I don't know why they're here. We're having a Christmas party. They're having a Christmas party. No, no, no. We're having a Christmas party. All of us. We are. Yes. Hey, why don't you come down? All right, we'll see you in a little while. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you, too. Bye. Oh, Mr. Grant. <laughs> oh, Murray, thank you. Mary. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Ted, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's just so good to see you. Come on, Mary, the party's at my place. Hey, I'll get my coat. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You're not off till midnight. Oh, come on, Lou, it's Christmas Eve. What's the difference? Yeah. The difference is that the general manager has a habit of calling at two minutes to midnight to wish the night man a Merry Christmas. If the night man isn't here... You mean we have to kill a half hour here? Well, let's make good use of it. Come on, I got some paperwork I can take care of. Well, I guess I can write some fillers for tomorrow night's show. I think I'll go listen to my album. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mary, can you type this up again? Oh, sure, Mr. Grant. La 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 Tis the season to be jolly La 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 Come we now our gay apparel
15 minutes. The whole family's meeting over my son Paul's place. Every year we have a real old-fashioned Christmas. You'll get the kids up and they'll open up some of their presents. Do you have any family? Well, uh, not tonight, I don't know. It was really nice talking to you, Charlie. Same here, and Merry Christmas. You too. Over and out. <laughs> Newsroom. Hello. Hello. Hello, Rhoda. Listen, uh, there's, there's not supposed to be anyone in the building, and I just heard the elevator. Rhoda, I can't call the police. What am I going to tell them, that I heard an elevator? <laughs> I can't call the police until the murderer gets off the elevator. <laughs> There he is. He's off the elevator. He's brought his gang. Rhoda, listen. You were my best friend, and I really liked your Christmas present. Oh, yeah, but Ted wanted it to be a surprise. Oh. Were you surprised? Was I surprised? <laughs> oh. Hello, Newsroom Seasons. Greetings. Uh, Mr. Green. What do you mean, is this the murderer? <laughs> Ted, that's for me. You're the murderer? Uh, Rhoda, yes, everything's fine. Yes, of course, I'm sure. No, nobody's forcing me to say that. <laughs> no, it, it's just Mr. Grant and, and Ted and Murray. I, I don't know why they're here. We're having a Christmas party. They're having a Christmas party. No, no, no. We're having a Christmas party. All of us. We are. Yes. Hey, why don't you come down? All right, we'll see you in a little while. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you, too. Bye. <laughs> oh, Mr. Grant. <laughs> oh, Murray, thank you. Mary. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Ted, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, Ted, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes. thanks. Will you at least cover for me while I go home and have some dinner? Oh, sure, sure. And, uh, Mary, I just want you to know I feel terrible about this. Good. <laughs> coming in yet because I had this big package out here. So big that I had to open the door first. <laughs> Now I am bringing this big package into your apartment. And I am placing it under your tree. No, I'm not. I can't stand it. You gotta open it now, Mary. Rhoda! <laughs> It's for me? Yeah, for you. Merry Christmas. Hey, uh, should yeah. I open it now? Yeah, go on. It looks like somebody already opened it. I did. I opened it a few times to take a look at this fantastic gift. <laughs> oh, Rhoda! Oh, it's just... <laughs> Is it a great... Huh? Oh, wow! Well. Listen, let me break you in on it. You'll be able to get your license and then solo in no time. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Richards. This is your griddle area. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you wish to fry an egg. Yes. Then, of course, here is your rotisserie. If you wish to barbecue an egg. Uh-huh. <laughs> Then we have the oven for your basic baked egg. Yes. <laughs> uh, what's this? That's your egg. I knew it. <laughs> well, Mary, what do you oh, think? Rhoda, I think it is just wonderful, and I think you spent too much money. Don't worry. I got an employee's discount down at the store. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. Well, I have yours, and oh. it's not half as nice. Forty percent is nice? Well, it's not too big, is it? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, this is fun. 
on. <gasps> oh, Mary, it's gorgeous. And you paid full price, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, you know what this will go great with? My new suit. Well, you think this is an accident? Why do you think I picked it out? Oh, kid. Thanks. <laughs> I, I love it. I hey, do. me too. Thanks. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> hey, you know what else my uh, new blouse will go great with? What? Your rotisserie. Huh? I can wear it while you cook a turkey in there. I bought one for us for tonight. I'll go get it. Well, uh, Rhoda, wait. Uh, listen, how fast do you think that thing can cook a turkey? Why? Because I have to leave for the office in 10 minutes. For what? To work. What? I traded with a man so that he could be with his... I don't even want to go into it. <laughs> Terrific. Wonderful. You get me all hyped up for Christmas Eve and then you run out like this. What am I supposed to do? Stand out in the... Hello there. Hello. Hello. Hey, Fred, you there? Hey, Fred, I got a great joke for you. Hey, Fred, now don't mess around. This is really a great story I got. Hello? Fred? No, I'm uh, filling in for him tonight. Uh, who, who is this? Charlie! Oh, hi, Charlie. Charlie, I don't know what this is uh, connected to. Uh, where are you? Out at the transmitter. I'm Charlie. Oh! You've heard of me. Yes, Charlie, out at the transmitter. <laughs> right! Well, well. <laughs> How is the transmitter? <laughs> sort of quiet tonight. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm, I'm all alone here, too. Well, so long. Well, wait, uh, Charlie, uh, can't we talk or something? What about? Well, you, uh, you said you had a good joke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there were these two guys, and they're walking down this big alley. What's your name again? Uh, Mary. I can't tell it to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, uh, can't we talk about uh, something else? I don't know what to say to you. I've never spoken to you before. Uh, Charlie, do you have uh, any, any family? Nothing but four kids, nine grandkids. Gee, I bet you wish you could be with them tonight, huh? I will be in about 15 minutes. The whole family's meeting over my son Paul's place. Every year we have a real old-fashioned Christmas. You'll get the kids up and they'll open up some of their presents. Do you have any family? Well, uh, not tonight, I don't know. It was really nice talking to you, Charlie. Same here, and Merry Christmas. You too. Over and out. <laughs> Merry Christmas, newsroom. Hello? Hello? police. What am I going to tell them, that I heard an elevator? <laughs> I can't call the police until the murderer gets off the elevator. <laughs> there he is. He's off the elevator. He's brought his gang. Rhoda, listen. You were my best friend, and I really liked your Christmas present. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but Ted wanted it to be a surprise. Oh. Were you surprised? We're going to <laughs> oh. Hello, newsroom season's greeting. Uh, Mr. Green. What do you mean, is this the murderer? <laughs> Ted, that's for me. You're the murderer? Uh, Rhoda, yes, everything's fine. Yes, of course, I'm sure. 
No, nobody's forcing me to say that. <laughs> no, it's, it's just Mr. Grant and, and Ted and Murray. I, I don't know why they're here. We're having a Christmas party. They're having a Christmas party. No, no, no. We're having a Christmas party. All of us. We are. Yes. Hey, why don't you come down? All right, we'll see you in a little while. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you, too. Bye. <laughs> oh, Mr. Grant. <laughs> oh, Murray, thank you. Mary. <laughs> oh, Ted, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Ted, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's just so good to see you. Come on, Mary, the party's at my place. Hey, I'll get my coat. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You're not off till midnight. Oh, come on, Lou, it's Christmas Eve. What's the difference? Yeah. The difference is that the general manager has a habit of calling at two minutes to midnight to wish the night man a Merry Christmas. If the night man isn't here... You mean we have to kill a half hour here? Well, let's make good use of it. Come on, I got some paperwork I can take care of. Well, I guess I can write some fillers for tomorrow night's show. I think I'll go listen to my album. <laughs> Mary, can you type this up again? Oh, sure, Mr. Grant. La 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. La 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 la. la. Come win all our gay apparel. <laughs> I did. I opened it a few times to take a look at this fantastic gift. <laughs> oh, Rhoda! Oh, it's just... <laughs> Is it a great... Huh? Oh, wow! Well. Listen, let me break you in on it. You'll be able to get your license and then solo in no time. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Richards. This is your griddle area. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you wish to fry an egg. Yes. Then, of course, here is your rotisserie. If you wish to barbecue an egg. Uh-huh. <laughs> then we have the oven for your basic baked egg. Yes. <laughs> uh, what's this? That's your egg. I knew it. <laughs> well, Mary, what do you oh, think? Rhoda, I think it is just wonderful, and I think you spent too much money. Don't worry. I got an employee's discount down at the store. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. Well, I have yours, and oh. it's not half as nice. Forty percent is nice. Well, it's not too big, is it? <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> oh, it's fun. <gasps> oh, Mary, it's gorgeous. And you paid full price, right? I did. <laughs> oh. Hey, you know what this will go great with? My new suit. Well, you think this is an accident? Why do you think I picked it out? Oh, kid, thanks. <laughs> I, I love it. I hey, do. me too. Thanks. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> hey, you know what else my uh, new blouse will go great with? What? Your rotisserie. Huh? I can wear it while you cook a turkey in there. I bought one for us for tonight. I'll go get it. Well, uh, Rhoda, wait. Uh, listen, how fast do you think that thing can cook a turkey? Why? Because I have to leave for the office in ten minutes. For what? To work. What? <laughs> I traded with a man so that he could be with his... I don't even want to go into it. <laughs> Terrific. Wonderful. You get me all hyped up for Christmas Eve and then you run out like this. What am I supposed to do? Stand out in the snow and light matches? Rhoda, <laughs> <laughs> will you please? You know, this has been a rough week and the worst part is just about to begin. Okay, kid. Listen. I'll see you later tonight, huh? No, I have to work till midnight. Oh. Well, then I'll see you tomorrow. I can't. I'm working tomorrow. It's Christmas. Well, uh... Have a Merry Christmas. You too. And now this final Yuletide item.
We have just received word from a U.S. radar... The dust there. Who's it from? Me. <laughs> the crystal bells of Christmas bring love and cheer tonight to wish for you... Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Grant, I really... Uh, I don't know what to buy a girl. You get yourself something. Mr. Grant, I can't accept this. Sure you can. But a blank check. What? Huh? <laughs> That's a mistake. <laughs> well, why don't I uh, uh, just wait outside? While no, you no. All I have to do is fill in an amount here. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a card back, please? <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> uh, da, da. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thank you, Mr. Grant. Uh, Mary. It's none of my business why you're working for Fred on Christmas Eve, but... Yes, it is, Mr. Grant. You're head of the newsroom. No, I don't want it to be my business. Because if it is, then I have to feel responsible for you being here all along. Oh, Mr. Grant, thank you. But I'm not going to be alone. The cleaning crew will be coming around. No, they won't. They don't work on Christmas Eve. Well, the, uh, then there's the night watchman. Uh-uh. There's only one man on duty tonight, and he has to stay downstairs in the lobby. Well, it's, uh... Comforting, then, to know that there'll be somebody only 12 floors away. <laughs> Look, I got some paperwork I can do. I'll stay. You go on. No, home. no, Mr. Grant. You know, it would make it a lot easier on me if everyone would just stop feeling sorry for me and go home and have a Merry Christmas. Okay, okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Take care of yourself. Well, you too. Good night. Good night. So.